and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my illustration was inspired by Paul David Tripp's book, New Morning Mercies, and today is May 3rd. I've been out of town for about a week, and this morning I went outside to see all that had happened in my garden since I was gone. And I'm sure a lot did happen because spring was so late coming this year and it seemed just as when I left, warm days came and just what I thought was true, there was so much growth everywhere. I had such a good time walking through my garden with my camera and my coffee and just looking and seeing at all the new things and I probably took at least a hundred pictures. Everywhere I went just was full of something I wanted to remember. And this is one of the pictures I took. It's of my lilacs that line the back edge of my property. Well, when I finally went back in the house and was standing at my sink looking out, all of a sudden I could see there were lilacs blooming way up at the very top of the tree. And I thought, I totally missed seeing those lilacs. Now, lilacs are just the harbinger of summer. Just before summer, the lilacs come out and we have beautiful blooms and I love to smell them and enjoy them. And it's you know, just one of the best flowers ever. And I was like, you missed the lilacs. How could that have happened? I even took a picture of the trees um, that I have old lilac trees and I do have some new ones, but these old ones I particularly love. And um, so I took a picture of them, and even so, I missed the blooms. Sorry for the disturbance there. These cuties are visiting me, and their Barbies, I think it was Chelsea and Stacy, wanted to make an appearance on our video. And these three kiddos are my youngest grandchildren, and they were very happy to pose with the lilac that I cut to use as a reference for this video. But back to my lilac story, when I was out looking around my garden, I looked under the lilacs, I looked to the right of the lilacs, I looked to the left of the lilacs. But I never looked up to the lilacs. Today, Paul Tripp and his devotion talks about the awesomeness of God and how we may never understand its depth or its breadth. And he says that God loves us so much that he has literally adopted us into his family. And at the, he ends up his devotion by saying, grace makes the king of kings your father and his savior son your brother. Now that is really beyond amazing. Pray for eyes to see it and a heart to embrace it and then let your soul soar. Now I know my lilacs are nothing like God's grace, but I was right there. I was right underneath the lilacs. I love the lilacs and I miss them. So if I can't see what's right in front of me, how much of God's awesome glory am I missing? We just have to pray for eyes to see it and a heart to embrace it. 
just like Paul Tripp suggests. And then our hearts will soar. So thank you for joining me today at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope this has been encouragement to you. I know it's been a good lesson to me that I'm pretty blind to what's around me, all the amazing thing that God has given me. So let's pray that our eyes are open so we can see it. So thank you and God bless.